day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Dear the Father, thank you for this opportunity to worship and praise your holy name. You said when two or three gather in your name, you'll be the midst of them. I now invite you to see the presence of the Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us in all truth. Father, pray to move me out of the way, let the Holy Spirit have its way. As we get into your word and worship and praise in your holy name, in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. You know, what What I've said, and uh, I wanted to, to, to I, I wanted for consideration, uh, we talked last week. It was talking about uh, the 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 power uh, of the name of Jesus. And uh, the fact is, and the scripture I will bring up is, is the fact is talking about is that besides Him, there is no God. There is no other Savior, save Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua. Uh, which me in Hebrew means savior, uh, is 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 what he is to us. And God is the savior. And when we talk about the the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, they're 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 one. They're one in different offices or different functions. The fact is that the Son came down to redeem us, all of us from the sins of Adam. And now, yes, we all have had sin and come short of the glory of God. But the, the separation started when Adam and uh, Eve, right, back in the book of Genesis, uh, violated God's law. And, and we're talking about God's law, he said he told them not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. At that time, that was not appropriate for them to do so. You know, and at the same time, the, the, the tree of life was there. The eternal life was there. Uh, they needed to be uh, be in a state of life, you know, and God didn't want them to uh, be in a state ever of being a perpetual uh, uh, sinners, you know, disobedient to the will of God. And not understanding that the how to overcome uh, the evil that is presented before most of us um, if we don't if we don't watch it, you know what I mean? So when we talked about it, and and, and yet last week, and matter of fact, I think I put this slide, but I did put these slides together a few seconds ago. Uh, I didn't put those those two scriptures up first. And I will read those first, and then we get into the uh, study. But the what I want to make sure we get to when we talk about Yeshua is that that's the Hebrew name of our Savior. Uh, that's what they call, you know, like if you went back in time, that is what they called him. They called him Yeshua. Uh, and I mean, so when, when we talk about the other names that have been translated to English, they were calling him Joshua or Joshua, or Jeshua, or the fact is Savior, right? And it was a common name too, to tell you the truth. Uh, people back in Israel during those times used to call people by their name, uh, call their name, excuse me, with a meaning and prophecy. In other words, there was a meaning behind the name. You know, when they called you, they called you uh, with the meaning behind your name. And that's that's important for you, for us, right? We don't, in other words, the Bible said that life and death and the power of the tongue. So we want to be able to speak life uh, into us. And we need to understand that what, check your names, right? <laughs> check the names that you have as well. But. We know when people used to give nicknames and stuff, a lot of cases those nicknames was to be more descriptive of what they believe the character of that person is, right? Did you ever notice that? 
a lot of kind of nicknames were kind of pointing you out, you know, uh, a, a, a trickster or, or you know, in the, in the, in the uh, Air Force or something, they have different names, like, you know, like Top Gun, right? And Merrick, right? Uh, and I'm just saying that those are the type of things that people used to do. Uh, so back in the biblical days, when they called your name, there was prophesizing. It was speaking what you are supposed to be, what they were like you supposed to be. I mean, you know, that you didn't choose it. They, your parents gave you that name, and they, it was it was basically to speak what they want to prophesize you to be. So a lot of them lack savior. Amen. A lot of them lack savior, and. When we talked last week, one of the things was that the the uh, the current name that in Christianity uh, that are used in in this country and some of the Western world, uh, they 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 use the name uh, Jesus. Uh, that's what we're accustomed to. Uh, but the question is, did you know what the meaning of the name meant? Oh, yes, right. We 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 have to. I think I think that's really important uh, for the meaning of what you call the name of your savior. That's that's what that's what you're calling your savior, right? I mean, if you don't know that, that is what it means. Your savior, savior. Think about it. If if and you know and and the the thing that, that I wanted to bring out is that when uh, the the name that we currently use today uh, throughout the Western culture uh, of Jesus didn't really come about until 1500. I mean, I, th I think you need to we need to know that the name didn't come around until 1500. The name we're talking about today, the name that's popular throughout the Western culture today, uh, Jesus uh, came about in the 1500s. And the reason I, I wanted to, as a thought of saying is know what the name means, not so much of the name, it's the, what the name means. It's the meaning behind the name, life and death and the power of the tongue, what does the meaning of Jesus mean? It means savior. It was translated, in this case, trans, transliterated uh, to be savior to Jesus. I mean, Jesus equals savior, or it was equal, the Hebrew name, Yeshua, was Yeshua means savior, you know? and. I, I wanted to, I, I kind of questioned, did the, the 1500s and 1600s, uh, did the name was changed? And we're going to go through some of the, the spelling. Like I said, because most people understand that the New Testament is written from Greek, uh, mostly, or translated in Greek. Uh, and there was no J and the, uh, the, the Hebrews Bible or in Greek. I mean, when they translated it, they couldn't translate it to Jesus. They translated it into uh, what an I, right? That, that's based on what the translators was bringing and conveying was an I. And then they said that the, and they were doing it based on the sounding of the name. And uh, they said Sweden, uh, was translating the I to J. And like I said, J was not in the Hebrew or in the Greek translation. But the Swedens came up with J. He said the sound it was J, or, or they, they, which was introduced into the uh, translation and uh, eventually evolved to uh, Jesus. So it was a transliteration evolving opposed to what it actually uh, is. But you know, I only thing about I brought that up, I thought it was interesting to 
to say uh, Jesus, uh, he came up with the J during the 1500s, was, was, was a concern that I wanted to throw out there was, did, were we trying to hide the, the meaning? Because I wanted to make sure you know that we need to know what the meaning of Jesus is, because we don't want to obscure that fact uh, for you or anybody else. We need to know, you should know, what is the meaning when you say it, what are you saying? Because if you don't know what you're saying, uh, I think that you, you're going to come up with uh, a different uh, I think you. I think you just come up. You're gonna come up short uh, when you don't <coughs> recognize the meaning of a name. You know, and and I and I think it's important for you to know the meaning of the name. And I'm wondering, was it possible? Is it possible? And I, that's a serious question I'm asking you too. Is it possible that? Names were were introduced that, that's a with uh, with the with with the intent to hide the meaning. You know, um, like I said, 1500s, 1600s, when the name, when the, the the translation of Jesus was brought to to perspective, but was the intent to make sure that the, the, the meaning was taken away or hidden from us, okay? Why I'm saying that? I'm saying that because if the meaning, and it's very important for you to understand that, if the meaning of the name Jesus, if the meaning of the name Yeshua, means a savior you know and I, and, I, and 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 back if the, this is the same time that the slave trade came in you know of human trafficking 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 uh came in and and even and then they said i don't know if you heard about it they even had the slave bible right and i'm not i'm not, I'm not talking forget the critical race, I don't care about that. I'm talking about the fact is that the meaning may have been intentionally removed to a degree because, you know, even the uh, in the slave, there's a called a slave Bible, right? And in the slave Bible, that means there were certain books and scriptures taken out of it so that they don't deal with deliverance, right? salvation freedom right because you know like i think i think the exodus story was taken out uh where moses delivered the uh the hebrews from or children of israel from egypt and and, and taking them to the promised land you know uh was it was those things were kind of taken out of the bible for the black bible i'm talking about the black bible or slave bibles that they had they they were intentionally keeping certain things dealing with freedom, dealing with salvation, dealing with deliverance. Think about it. It was that was a, that was a, the uh, slave Bible. Well, maybe even the fact is that they they, they they watered down, hidden, and try to make the name the name, but not the meaning of the name to be preached and taught throughout. Uh, those those early days at after the 1500s. What I'm talking about, even with the caste system and everything else, right? Salvation, freedom, deliverance. The name means deliverance, and and maybe we didn't, and maybe even today we don't use it and or not emphasize that it is about deliverance, deliverance from from disease, deliverance from uh, bad situations, deliverance from addiction. In other words, when we say Jesus, we're talking about a savior, a deliverer, you know what I mean? 
to do you want you want to be able to understand the meaning of the name of Jesus of Joshua of Joshua is salvation deliverer did you see what I'm saying there's a lot of things we want to be delivered from if it's from oppression from abuse from 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 people that's doing wrong to you right you know what I mean from from delivering from yourself if yourself is destructive you you want you want to understand that when I call on the name of Jesus when I call on the name Yeshua, huh? Then I'm talking about my savior. I'm talking about my deliverer. We have to make sure that that's understood. If we don't get that meaning, then you start making just a name. And the thing about it is we're going to the study, the fact that it said name above all names. Jesus even said, ask in my name. We need to understand. He said, ask in the name of the savior the name of the deliverer huh and you know okay that's what you want right you want so you want things to come to you you want to come by your savior yeah and as I'm, I'm you know god is talking in the sense of saying make sure you understand the name the name has a meaning whether you say it you know we we if god knows in our heart and even if it was done incorrectly, God knows in our heart that it was all about knowing the meaning of the name. God said his only begotten son, huh? Knowing that, that's the, his son, what about his son? To deliver, to redeem. He's our redeemer. I mean, it, it's the meaning that must be understood. If you 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 come into God, you come into to 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 receive salvation. You receive in salvation far as your deliverer. We talk about what's going on in Russia and in Ukraine right now, and 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 one is trying to not trying to bring them into bondage and in lying and saying we're trying to deliver them. I mean, at least that's what their leader is saying. For Russia is saying, and we're we're liberating. We're, 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 we're using the name of Jesus. Said, even said he, the joke even said he was called by God to deliver people, but in reality, he's doing the opposite because you can't say that you're delivering somebody, blowing them up, bombing them, turning up the infrastructure, going after, look, look, we're going after Nazis. You, 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 you got the meaning of Nazi. Or at least we got a, a picture of what a Nazi is, right? We know that that's somebody that was with Hitler and them was doing all the atrocities, going after Jews and going after just taking over everything. That's why you hear names matter, words matter, life and death and the power of the tongue. We want we need a deliverer we need a savior we need salvation we need redemption we need forgiveness huh come on now it's about the name the meaning of the name and we 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 have put the name as a name not the meaning behind the name as i go into this study we're not talking about trying to change it to joshua because that's what it is, is Joshua. But if you're going to use Jesus, you need to know that Jesus has the same meaning, both have the both supposed to have the same meaning as Joshua, the salvation, the redeemer. It may be that when they were doing human trafficking, trafficking, <laughs> get it right in a way, but when they were doing it, what were they watering down or hiding the meaning behind the name? Because that does, because like I said, if you have this uh, mentality, the salvation, you know, John 3 says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Why? Because he's our savior. He's our redeemer. He's our deliverer. And he came to save the world. 
And see, you know, some people that, you know, that think about it, that would not apply to or could be used when you're talking about slavery. And maybe even today when people sit there and try to hold on to some type of level of superiority and, and they'll do all the bad things that goes along with it, meaning say, we're going to press you, we're going to keep you down because it's all about me and not about you. Keep you down, bring me up. We sit there and say, not with my savior. Hey, my savior allows me to be redeemed, allow me to do all things through Christ, which strengthens me, to make me the head and not the tail, huh? See, some people want to make, they, that, see, maybe that's why some people want to keep the meaning of some of the things in the Bible down. Because if it does not, some people don't want it across the board. Redemption, salvation. Some people don't want, some people want to elevate themselves and put somebody else down, either by race or by individuality. You know, I had a competition that goes in, in jobs and, 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 and some people will do wrong things, bad things, lying, scheming, to try to keep somebody else down, to try to put somebody else in a box. And you, as long as you believe that, well, I'm a child of God, I don't need your approval. Huh? I don't need, I don't need you, I don't need your approval. I need his approval, right? You know, in Hebrews 11, for he to come to God without faith is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he's a reward of those who diligently seek him. Huh? That's why it's important when we need to understand the meaning of being a Christian. And maybe that's the, the thing about it. We need to understand the meaning of being delivered. So that we can we can do and navigate into the challenges of this world. People, see, because some people go and they get involved with drugs, right? They get involved with, with, with all kinds of stupid stuff and bring themselves down because, you know, they, 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 they're having they put themselves in misery and everything else. But so because the name and, and water down the name so that they can put themselves in misery, put themselves down, opposed to saying is, I have a savior. Hey, uh, maybe what somebody else did to me, that that's bad, but I got a savior. Huh? <laughs> I got a deliverer. Man, man, if we can get that understanding, that's where we got our victory. That's where we got our hope in, right? Your faith in the substance of things, what hope for? See, do we, when we just look at the name and don't have the meaning behind the name, do we hope for it? Do we even know what to hope for if we don't have the meaning? It's the meaning. That's what I think is important. That's what we want to talk about today. Knowing the meaning of the name. 